Today I'm going to share with you why seeking discomfort might be the number one thing that you want to do if you want to improve your sleep quality right now. And to get you inspired to do this, I went out into the cold just a couple of days ago, into the snow, only wearing shorts and had a 10 minute nap in the snow and you can have fun watching this out of the comfort of your living room in a minute from now. But before, let's dig in why this is so important and how this can actually help us to fall asleep better. And just to be clear, even though this was the first time that I went out into the snow to have a nap, and maybe the last time, I'm not sure, uh, I've been doing cold showers for over a year now, and I'm doing it because of three reasons. Reason number one is that in particular cold showers are really good for our immune systems and make us healthier. Reason number two is that it gives our bodies a very clear signal that the day has started and having a clear signal that the day has started is as important as giving our bodies a clear signal when it's time to go to sleep when it comes to our sleep. And reason number three is that if we want to improve our sleep we need to change things and guess what? change is always going to feel a little bit discomfortable. So if we practice going into the discomfort, like having a cold shower, which is really not that pleasurable of an experience, how easy do you think will it be for you if you want to avoid watching TV the last hour of your day or do other things that will help you to promote good, healthy, natural sleep? And now let's move on, have fun watching how I went into the snow and I hope this gets you inspired to have a cold shower in the morning or to expose yourself to other discomfortable things to get moving into the right direction. It's getting a little bit cold in the legs. Colder actually than when, it, when I do a cold shower, surprisingly. But I'm good, just gonna continue to do the breathing and try to focus on that. bit of tingling sensation now on my arms did the breath hold now from the you know from the Wim Hof breathing and actually felt really good doing so so the cold went kind of into the background and uh, first time ever I did something like this and it still seems kind of like okay now better than when I started off so I'm gonna do the breathing again and can see if I go on for another round Afterwards, I'm going to have a warm shower today <laughs> instead of having the cold.
breath. Really relaxing. So I think I could go go on for another round or something like that. But uh, as it's the first time I'm doing this, I'm gonna stop it right now and I'm gonna go inside, have a warm or hot shower. Even though I must say it doesn't really feel that cold anymore. So it was really hard the first minute, kind of like when you do the cold shower, the first minute is hard. But uh, after that, especially doing the breathing. Uh, that was a really relaxing experience and what i did in the background was to say i'm warm so that was what i repeated to myself like like an affirmation i'm warm i'm feeling warm even though obviously it's probably not that warm at the moment <laughs> so okay thanks for watching um, and i'll let you know how the hot shower was later on <laughs> bye bye so back inside again and uh after the the cold snow uh, exposure which was really awesome like i never thought i would uh, head out for 10 minutes and i probably would have been able to do you know like five or ten minutes more even but that said i'm doing the cold shower since a year i think it's really um fantastic to you know to get in touch with your body so if we have sleep problems uh, it's often our minds going crazy and our minds are connected to our bodies. So there's something going on here. And to expose your body to the cold, especially in the morning, is a fantastic way to get your body active, to get your mind to focus on your... your I don't even know how uh, I can explain this. It's just going deep inside. Like... Um, I can share a Wim Hof video where he goes into, you know, going into the depth and that's what it really is. So uh, at a certain threshold of cold pain, so it's not real pain, but it's kind of the cold pain as I'll call it, you just go inside and you don't feel it anymore. And that's exactly what happened when I did the breathing. It just, you know, you just, uh, I just got focused on my body and I told myself it's warm, it's warm. I could feel a tingling sensation. Uh, in my in my uh, legs and my arms but it didn't matter and this is just so essential if if you're trying to find back to superb sleep and you've tried a lot so this is nothing that i would recommend to you know start off with but if you tried a lot why not go for this uh, it's going to help you to get your body activated it's going to um, trigger a process called hormesis which is going to strengthen your body strengthen your immune system and it's also going to uh, let you focus, meditate much easier than you might have experienced in the past if we're talking about you know, guided meditations or meditations that you do on your own. Because I know for many out there, it's hard to do a meditation. And the Wim Hof method, even if you leave the cold aside and just go for the breathing, is a fantastic way to, um, to meditate, to get, go really deep, without the need of doing the practice which you otherwise would have to do. So I hope this was great for you. Maybe got you to inspired to do a cold shower if you tried a lot for your sleep. If you just want to see how it is, 
uh, uh, then go for that too. And I'm looking forward to do uh, the next things uh, for you and with you together to um, get inspired, to try new things, to find you, to, to, to try new things, to get you um, sleeping well again. So have a fantastic day. Bye bye.